here's the thing. I didn't film anything more uh, uh, before this because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fix this. Because see, when I got this, ev oh, see, with all these cracks, all these cracks, they were all broken pieces. Pieces were all broken up. Now, what I did first, I I glued them all back. I glued it all together with Gorilla Glue. Get the camera strap out of the way. Then to reinforce the glue hole, I put uh, over the cracks. I Gorilla taped it. See. Gorilla tape. And now, because it's fragile, and my plan is for put it up on a shelf for display. I want, want to make sure it stays firm and not break break under weight. I got a styrofoam I got a styrofoam circle with these the measurements uh, and I cut it in half and then with some trimming and shaving this fit in perfectly fits in perfectly right here. And now I'm, and I'm going to do the same to this head section, which also broke, and I had to glue back together. All right. Next step. Now, what I'm going to do to make sure this stays in here is I'm going to take some Gorilla Tape <laughs> over these sections here not these because these are the clips that go in the other one but I'm going to take and wrap some Gorilla Tape onto here and put some Gorilla Tape in here so it'll stick to there And then that all should, be, should come out. Alright. Next spot. Okay. Yeah, now the next step. Okay, now this is the bottom of the other part. And you can see where, where it's broken. And here, it just this just cracked here. <laughs> Little glitch. Alright, so you can see here. This is the b bottom. You can see here, it's just cracked here. And you can see it broke here. Glued in place here. Mm. Best I can. And now I need to find a way to put the tape in so it'll stay. And right in here is where this piece broke off. Now this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because I am going to have to actually cut out this uh, sec this section of on the on this because I'm going to have to do this in sections. But, but you can see. It will, it is the proper size for this. <laughs> Alright, so first, I need to uh, reinforce the glued areas. 
So I'm going to do that now. Okay, now that everything here is nice and secure, as secure as it can be, with because I don't really have a way of I say tape over the side, which I kind of don't, which I don't want to do. I don't want to have the tape shown on the outside, but this it, it works. It's all securely in there. I don't feel like it's going to break now every time I lift it up. Alright. Now for a next step. Okay, now that I cut and trimmed everything to fit nice and flush in here. See, it's not perfectly flush with this here. Now I got these little areas here that need to be filled. But I do have this the extra so Alright. Now Okay, so this is how it looks before I do anything else. And by anything out, what I've been planning to think about doing is, uh, well, I'm gonna do something with this because I think it needs something. I mean, it kind of doesn't go with the full effect, and I do have the other parts. So, and I've been thinking about, uh, especially since it's broken and everything, and you can see cracks and everything. Think about just uh, going over this with this nice color, a gray paint color, something that make it blend. Maybe tape up a few of these detail, these uh, graphics. Have them as for X. Because obviously, doesn't need to have all. Doesn't really need to look like all. And one note you make once you get this you may have to do adjustments until you get this to fit right as you can see currently I don't have a fitting quite as flush as you're supposed to so adjustments have to be made I think it's mainly because of the tape that I put on it's now causing friction so I'm gonna have to figure something out like that So yeah, that's also if you're gonna do anything for electronics in here with this, you may want to do it first. Because that's what I did. It's a little brick stuff kit. So you can see Zordon really good now. So I just have two red flashing lights in here. And uh, you can see I got a like a strip, LED strip, and one here and I don't know if it's one right there at the top.
I did that because the electronics in here don't know I messed and don't tongue tied. I did this because the electronics in here no longer work. Now basically I'm gonna have to fix the decals which you can do with Gorilla Glue and a brush applicator. Okay, so now let's see what I can do with this now. Obviously something needs to be done because you can see this see stain markings. So, I'm sure I'm going to either try and take this, peek these off, or cover them with tape, and then do something. Probably a nice, probably going to do a nice flat gray or something. Maybe a blue. Something to make it feel more screen accurate. Okay, so here is the floor all painted up. And you can see these are how it looks now. This is all up what I left. Now of course after spray painting it, I want to take the tape off. You do you do find that there is some touch-ups around edges and stuff that need to be done but you just do as much as you feel you that's to your day I I don't care about that little bit there or right there and it's helped, helpful to have actual gray paint Now to show you, here's what Alpha looks like standing on there. And here's what it looks like with the control console in place. <laughs> One viewing globe, two viewing globes. And now here's how it looks with everything. Uh, try and get it in the frame. Yeah, that's good. That's how it looks now. And now I'll turn off the third light. And I'll just pull the shade. And now you can see how it looks. Uh, in complete darkness. And now for a lower view. That's how it looks. And it's at with the light up. Mm. 
Alright. Now. Get a good look here. Add more light. <laughs> There we go. Now, see this how it F looks here? Console looks good. Actually, it kind of looks more sure way to it. Little alarm. These knobs now alarm signal lights. I added some, another roll of chrome silver. So now that looks better. Terrible Rangers for that, right? Yeah. And before I forget, I also painted the viewing globes the same color as the console, which is a dark purple, and added detail to those panels on the side. Then let it go right here. I don't think I mentioned it, but not at the foam and everything is in there. The base and everything all feels a lot more sturdier and doesn't feel like it's gonna break when you grab it. Grab it and we'll lift it up. That's how it looks with the turbo ranges there. Just for good measure, let's just put him in here too. So, oh, they got a the look of what it looks like with some rangers in it. And here's how it looks with the Ninja Storm Ranger in it. Just so you can compare. I don't have any others quite handy at the moment. Turbo ranges are just what I could reach on the shelf. And of course one more thing, this is how it looks with all the civilian rangers in it. I can form in it. And it looks great. <laughs> this display looks great now. Now I have noticed one thing I'm gonna need is some stands because vibrations tend to knock the figures over. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. And just in case I didn't mention it. I went a lot I did this edging in black. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.